Hey everybody, welcome back to Left Paw Gaming. Today, we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Final Fantasy 16. Last video, Clive finished up helping the dame find one of her missing girls, only to find that she was dead. And then we finally met up with Sid and Jill before heading in to Oriflam to destroy the Mother Crystal. This video, our assault on Oriflam, the capital city, begins. Let's jump in little post edit here so when we select I don't normally show this map but when we actually pick the capital for us to go to right here it gives us a new message that we don't normally get you have reached a pivotal moment in the story if you continue you will not be able to return proceed and we of course pick yes and you'll hear me talk more about it when the video starts it was kind of strange we got a prompt that we're at a pivotal moment in the story. I normally don't show the the map portion where we select a new location, but we just got a pop-up that said we're about to hit a pivotal moment in the story uh, and we can't go back. Do we want to proceed? Obviously the answer is yes. There are not nearly enough men here. So I wonder what's going to happen that's so guard, big that it's a pivotal story moment. Into... Anyway, this let's focus well. on what we're doing, all right? <laughs> just a little focus. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Oh, well, that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. <laughs> you want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. Man, I like Sid. <laughs> the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. She's just laughing at you and just Clive, talking like friends. Right, we make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it, and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the inner sanctum is guarded, then we embrace the moment and use it to grow. And <laughs> Did he just explain this, Clive? Oh my God! Here we go. The crystal's curse. Go go official mission. Look at me talking, something. well, boys. <laughs> Obviously. The crystal's curse. Our new official mission. The passage is empty. I read something somewhere. I was just curious because I wanted to see how everything would break out. There's apparently 68, I think, if I read correctly, 68 missions in the uh, main story. So it's a lot. I'm not sure if I get one mission, like I can do one video per mission, or if some missions have been broken up a little bit, or some of them overlap. I know there was one video that we did a while back where there were like two missions that was essentially like, oh, just go here and a new mission starts. <laughs> like, so, uh, I don't know what number we're on right now. I'm probably going to go back and right. count and figure it out, but, yeah. Let's get this over with. <laughs> he said, shut your gob. <laughs> Take out the magic user, the healer. Why did it target somebody else? I really need to lock on better. Blast them all away. I just see their health bars get <laughs> obliterated. Five's actually getting quite a bit stronger uh, as well, just anyway, so. I love seeing the lightning. Just keep doing it. Keep the lightning going, man. Is there anything else to collect? No. I think we gotta bust through this. Yeah, Sid's standing over here like, hey, what are you guys waiting for? R2. Yeah! Give it the old King Leonidas. This is shot. Sparta! You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Well, that's not the best. I 
Alright then, come on. <laughs> Why was it given a- oh, maybe uh, Sid was too close to us to start climbing through. Is this his shortcut? Just up on the cliffs here? <laughs> Just getting around everybody. It's a pretty dark area too. And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. A bit. There's a bunch here. Good lord. We couldn't even use a downward strike. Yeah, the big old uppercut. Here we go. Blow them all up. Collateral flames times nine. <laughs> so I'm assuming that was nine targets that were hit by that. I'm down with that. Oh, what's this? A big hefty boy. I think this may be the moment I was talking about earlier. <laughs> what have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. Joker. Then let's shut him up. Let's get him. Black powder. Ooh, dang. That's a cool attack. You know what to do, Dodge moves. You ain't touching me. This is an Imperial Imperial Cannoneer. Dodging's not working from that. That sucks. Good thing that doesn't do a lot of damage. Prime up and beat on. It's ether. Then we better make this quick. Yeah, the whole room just turned blue, didn't it? Ether leaking out like this? Get rid of this guy. We can talk more about the ether. Ether spelt with an A. Like psychology. P at the beginning. Or knuckles with a K at the beginning. <laughs> what other words have a silent first letter? Pterodactyl. Enough of that nonsense. Let's just finish beating this guy down. 12,156. Is he? Uh oh. What does that mean? But hatred and rage. Oh, I wonder if this is what happens when somebody pulls in too much ether. I can't handle it. I wonder if this is kind of what happens to uh, the people that we saw at the Abbey, you guys remember? Where they were starting to petrify. Sid has a little petrification on his arm, it looks like, as well, but... But, what if this is like a, a fast track to that, going uh, a K-Shake, essentially is going to turn this dude to stone no matter what, but you also kind of go crazy before you turn to stone. That just sucks, man. He's staggered, so let's prime him and beat him! Some big damage. 12,516, that ain't bad. Stay on him, we're getting him. Is that 
Come on, come on. Ooh, a parry attack there. go imperial cannoneer slain 110 ability points and our usual low amount of experience 70 increases ignition damage we're not even using ignition right now i really should though that's a, a freak skill that would substitute in for some phoenix you stuff no you're still a man a man who drowned in ether it's no way for anyone to go Dang. Come on. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Dang, so to be Akashic means to drown in ether. Oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friend. <laughs> said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt odds, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Oh, dang. So, ether is one of those things that, like, too much of it and you get poisoned. But in a flood like this, it's impossible to not take it in, so... Unless you're a dominant, which the three of us are right now. That sucks, man. Oh, I see some enemies up front there. Let's go grab this little item here. A little steel silk. We got some people to beat down in here. Yep, Kasha Miners. Look at that. The gods. Too far gone. The ethers make monsters of them. All we can do now is put them out of their misery. Dang, that sucks. The boss said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? Come on, I keep it cold over them. Never mind. Alright, that took him out. If ever there was a reason to up sticks, an ether flood would be it. Fuck me. Those cards at the gate. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Oh my god, seriously? So miners and guards that were stuck in here turned uh, Akashic. That sucks, man. Imagine being one of the guards that had to keep everybody in. Like, you see another guard that, you know, you were familiar with, friends with, or whatever. And you gotta take them out because they're just crazed, essentially. That sucks. He made it, made it look easy. Oh, oh don't tell me Sid's gonna plummet here. Doesn't look that far. Right. <laughs> made it. God. Some help. Hold on. How's he on this side now? <laughs> he fell from the opposite. Oh no, he did fall on this side. Oh no, he was on the opposite side of the hole that he had fallen through. Interesting. Not quite as spry as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. <laughs> On the bright side, eh? at least you won't get lost. No, <laughs> oh, Sid's such a fun character to me. <laughs> All 
All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. What else do we have down here? Look at all this. War cry. Some opponents will use war cry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's bust them all with Phoenix Rebirth. It won't matter for none of them. Get me, son. Not today. Ooh. The downward thrust strikes again, man. I tell you what. Oh, come on. This would be a perfect time for the rebirth to be ready. And of course, as soon as we get away from the big group of enemies. Ready and he uses it. You know what's fine. Sick of Togo. That's a bunch of experience there. 110. I mean, compared to what we've been getting. Any other things to pick up? I'm trying not to go too far off the beaten path to uh, collect items, but as everybody knows, when you play games, the best things are not on the main trail, so... <laughs> If I can veer off just a little bit, or find some of those lucky early on really good items, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, we got a couple paths, it looks like. Treasure chest. Give me your goods. Oh, we can't get through this side. What are you looking at me for, Sid? You're not even trying to show me the right direction. But now there's enemies down this path. Get him. Sick of blow it up, blow it up. I just love that little boot up and baseball swing. <laughs> Can we open this one? Yeah. Here we go. Little motor. R2. This one got another big one. Jesus. An Akashic Champion. Dang, we got our attack cut off. Hopefully, Jill and Sid can take care of the other ones while I focus on this. Nope, Jill's standing right over here. Okay. Primed up. I mean, I wish we could see Sil... Sil... I can bind them. Sid and Jill go into semi-prime mode as well. Like, if I did it, then whoever's in the party, if they're uh, a dominant, they also go prime. Oh, that'd be so cool. New enemies are appearing. I haven't gotten to the first group. Go, go, go! Ooh. Come 
come on. You're so close. There we go. There we go. Downward strike. Yeah. I love that move. <laughs> I'm so happy whenever it happens. I kind of got to turn around. I think this is the right way. Yeah, we didn't kick through these yet. I like the See effects. The oh, that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. I like the effects coming off of the uh, the gauge up top, the prime gauge. It's got the little uh, flame particles through. coming off. Pretty cool. What happened to two? Ask one. <laughs> nice. Once more. Aye, as soon as you're trying now. <laughs> there we go. First try, boys. As if that was going to keep us out. And the sweet little fireball flashlight. Item over here to pick up. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. <laughs> you know what I like? In a lot of these games now, your party members essentially say things that, uh, like the player with thing. Like, I can't see anything right now. And Jill said it for us. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know things like that in games always always intrigue me because it really makes it feel a lot more real, right? Less uh, less gamey, more immersive experience. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> no one about. Good God, I look knew it at would that. Be big. But this. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. Well, I can already tell you that that platform down there is going to have a pretty nasty boss fight for us. There's no way that it doesn't. Too grand of an area. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. <laughs> don't blame me. He started it. But how did he make it out alive? Yeah, good question. I walked. You should try it. Man, Sid's just crazy, period. The path of the goddess. All right, guys, we're going to cut this video off right here. There's a great spot for us to cut it off because we have entered the mining area, headed towards the Mother Crystal. We are actually at a place called the path of the goddess, which is leading us to the actual place we need to get to. And I was right when I was playing that there's a massive boss fight that's going to happen on that large platform there. And that's going to happen in the next video. To see that boss fight, you have to join us in the next one because there's some, there's some brutal things about to start going on. And you guys can't miss it. So as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.